temporary public service announcement time. This is one of those time sensitive videos that'll get patched in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Just if you're wondering, if you've experienced this and you just weren't quite sure if it was you going mad or not, it is confirmed that if you've upgraded to Microsoft Windows 10 Build 1709, or if you've been forced to upgrade to Build 1709, that is the new Fall Creators Edition Build of Windows 10. It was pushed out around the end of October. Then you may have noticed that the Place Constraint dialog box in Inventor takes a little longer to appear than it would have otherwise done. So if we hop on over to Inventor, just so I can demonstrate, this is Windows 10 Build 7. 1709 on my desktop if I click the joint button for example right you'll see when I click the mouse the cursor goes black right and the box appears pretty quickly click there it is click there it is right now for constraint there's a there is a noticeable lag on the box popping up it's worse on other computers now that's an annoying little bit of a lag it's not game breaking it's not deal breaking it's not oh no my projects are all gonna be late deal breaking at all it's just a bit of a nuisance some other people will have it worse than others i've no doubt different systems will react differently to whatever's causing this i've no doubt i've no doubt but it is a thing it is a thing it's been acknowledged by autodesk uh, and uh yeah they, they've created <laughs> the most hilarious knowledge network page this is kind of why i'm doing this video because this knowledge network page is legendary the person who created this in autodesk support has either is either just got no fucks to give in his care pocket his care pocket is completely empty or he's got a legendary sense of humor or kahunas the size of boulders either or this is just genius right issue users report that when trying to open place constraint dialogue it takes more time after the update of microsoft windows 10 professional build 1709 is installed longer waiting time and cpu usage is higher too if the dialogue is open the cpu should do get down should get down all uh, right status the incident is being investigated for a possible cause and resolution so they've acknowledged that look it's an incident it's reproducible we know it's a thing uh, we're investigating it and we'll fix it soon that's usually the standard statement but what they also do <laughs> they also do is they offer some workarounds so let's see what the offer let's see let's see what they suggest you do to 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 mitigate this issue right so the first one the first one of these workarounds is to uninstall the microsoft windows update kb4043961 which is good they've identified exactly which kb has uh, has caused the issue i'm not sure to be honest I'm, i don't know if you can individually uninstall updates from an entire windows build especially if you like i do whenever a new windows 10 build comes out i format my machine completely and then put the new build on from scratch. I don't think I can uninstall these individual knowledge base uh, updates from Microsoft one by one individually. So that's not an option for me, I don't think. All right, the second workaround is to uninstall the com completely uninstall build 1709 and the issue should not appear. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> you don't say completely uninstall Windows and the issue should not appear. I assume what he means, I mean, Inventor's not going to appear either, but I assume what he means, or she means, is that if you roll back to the previous build of Windows, then you're not going to have this issue. Which, let's be honest, right, I know that is, it's a workaround, right? It's like, I've got a sore arm, what's the, what's the solution? We'll chop your arm off, then you won't have a sore arm anymore. Ah, uh, my eye hurts. Uh, something in my eye. What's in my eye? It's your finger. That, it's that kind of stupid suggestion, you know? It's not going to happen. People aren't going to roll back their entire Windows build just because of one little niggly issue, which is a nuisance. It's a nuisance we, we want it fixed. We, we want it fixed, but we're not going to roll Windows back to the old build. The time it takes to roll Windows back and completely restore all your programs is going to be a lot longer than the delay you're going to have over time for the constraint. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not happening. It's not happening. But the third workaround is absolutely, I, I, when I read this, I was on live stream the other day, I had a random live stream the other day. And when I read this, I lost it. I completely lost it. <laughs> because this is genius. This is genius. Third workaround. <laughs> Wait for the place constraint dialog box appearing. <laughs> or oh, 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 does be like, what, what's that you say? You, you've uh, there's, there's an unacceptable delay for this dialog box popping up. Well, here's a suggestion. Just wait for it. Shut your face. Shut up and just wait for it. That's a good workaround. That's like that's like. <laughs> 
It's like going to, going to go to your car manufacturer and saying, my car's broken. It says uh, driving slower than normal. Well, here's the suggestion. Stop driving your car. <laughs> they've, it's, they've genuinely said that. It's unbelievable. I don't know. I don't know if they're, they're actually being serious here or not. They can think it, but the, the, you can't say that this year. You can't say this. <laughs> it's something's taken ages to appear. Well, just wait for it. There's a good workaround. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, I lost it when I first read that for a good five minutes, and I still, I still can't believe that it's actually there. It's, it is, it's actually a thing. Uh, but yeah, so if you're on Windows 10, four creators build, it does take. It's, it's like uh, I'm not noticing to be honest. I'm not noticing uh, Task Manager giving me spikes in CPU usage to be honest. Like when I'm firing it up, can I keep this on top? Always on top. Uh, and then fire up. You know, constraint dialer box. It's not spiking. You know, five percent, whatever. You know, it, it, it's not. There's no excessive CPU usage for me on my build. So I don't know what what all that is about the uh, the CPU getting down. So uh, anyway, just thought I'd do that. If you if you are noticing any weird delays in Inventor on the full creators update, then uh, then it is confirmed. The constraint dialer box, at least. Uh, it also breaks Vault. If you've got Vault Server. On, uh, on your Windows 10 build and you've upgraded to Windows 10 for Creators Edition, it breaks your Vault server. Uh, the Vault, Vault Professional at least isn't supported on Windows 10 anyway, uh, but if you've got Vault Basic, yeah, it's going to break it. I've done some testing and if you if you were to install Vault on a fresh build of the Windows 10 for Creators Edition, it works fine. It's only if you migrate and in windows deploys the update itself and upgrades your operating system that's when it breaks it 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 changes the it does something with the app pools and iis and it, it breaks that so uh but anyway that's not what this is about so yeah just there you go i just thought i'd let you know that they'll fix it no doubt in a, in a pending service pack or hot fix i've got no doubt so uh until then just just, just wait just stop you stop you whinging and wait for it to appear <laughs> see you the next one <laughs>